hi guys welcome back to the vlogs so today is Wednesday and I'm kicking off the vlogs a little bit later in the week because as you guys know I went camping this past weekend and I got back on Monday night so I kind of took Tuesday to kind of recover catch up it was you know it was such a fun weekend but I did sleep in a tent all weekend and I hardly got some sleep so I needed just like a day to recover you know what I mean but anyways we are back in action we're back on track it's Wednesday morning it's actually like 11 o'clock noonish um, and I just made myself a stunning queen snack with peanut butter and jelly blueberries on top and we also got some peaches so that's kind of like my breakfast slash lunch situation going on I already made myself coffee and I just finished getting ready because I kind of spent the morning getting some work done on my computer um, so I just kind of put on a cute little fun outfit to feel nice um, I think I'm going to meet up with some friends this afternoon and go for lunch, which will be really fun. Um, so yeah, today's going to be a fun day. The sun is shining, you guys. I'm just in a good mood. But anyways, I just have a few more things that I have to get done on my computer um, before my friends come pick me up. Because like I said, we're going to go um, for lunch and just kind of enjoy the weather and the afternoon because it's so beautiful out. Um, I'll show you guys the outfit that I decide to wear. I've kind of been changing all morning, so this isn't, you know, the final look potentially. Um, but I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, we are back with another haul, you guys. Haul segment, unboxing segment. Whatever you guys want to call it. I know a ton of you guys have been asking for them. So like I said in the last vlog, I'm trying to do like an unboxing um, in every single vlog. So we're coming back at you with a new one. Okay, so I'm very excited to be unboxing this new package. I actually already unboxed it, obviously, and already hung it up in my office, but I thought I would just kind of show you guys the pieces that I picked out. So I'm actually partnering up with Bandier to bring you guys a few pieces that I'm obsessed with. So cute, so fun, so colorful, and I know you guys are obsessed with sweatpants and loungewear and activewear as much as I am, so... I'm excited for this one. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my favorite piece out of everything because usually I save the best for last, but I just have to show you this because I'm so obsessed with it. So the first little set that I'm showing you guys is this cream colored set. It's by the brand Ragdoll, um, and it is a hoodie and a flared sweatpant on the bottom, which is why it's my favorite because I think it's so unique and all of my sweatsuits have like tapered bottoms. So I was really excited when I saw the flare aspect of the pants. Um, and I just think it looks really chic and it makes it so you can dress it up more. And like you could totally wear this with some fun sneakers or some flip flops and add some jewelry and make it a little bit more wearable. Um, and obviously the material is so soft. Um, I ended up getting it actually in a size small in the top. And I think I got a medium in the bottom. No wait, never mind. I got small in both. I ended up getting a small because I wanted to be a little bit oversized. Usually my size is extra small, um, but I wanted this to be like big oversized vibes. So I'm obsessed and I literally can't wait to wear this every single day of my life. And you guys know how I feel about like neutrals and creams and whites, like that's my favorite. Okay, next up is this super cute tank top. And you guys know tie-dye for summer is adorable, so on trend. Um, and it is just kind of like a simple, just a basic white tank top, which is always great to have in your closet. Um, but it's always nice to kind of spice it up with some tie-dye as well. It's like my favorite type of cut of a tank top. I love how it like goes up a little bit. Um, and it's kind of a racer back, not so much. And then is a little bit looser on the sides. It's by the brand Wesley and I got it in an extra small. Okay, next up, you guys, I obviously had to get some PFG in here. Every single haul, like there has to be something PFG or it's not an Emma haul. Um, so I got this adorable sweatsuit short set. So they're not sweatpants, they're these little shorties. I think they're so adorable. They have a pocket on the back that say Ragdoll Los Angeles. And then on the front here is just kind of like a crew neck with the um, letter R for Ragdoll, obviously. I got both in a size extra small in this one just because um, I wanted this one to fit a little bit more true to size. 
um, because I already got the cream one in an oversized vibe. It's the exact same material as the cream one. Like I said, it's so soft and so cozy inside. Um, and I feel like this one's really good for summertime to actually wear during the day since it is hotter. You could totally get away with wearing some shorts rather than the sweatsuit like in cream I'd probably wear on like a chilly or summer night or more in the evening when it cools down. Um, but I think it is just freaking adorable. Okay, and then last but not least, I did get myself a little active set. And you guys know I love biker shorts, so I got a biker short two-piece set. The sports bra looks like this. There's no padding, which I like. I prefer no padding since I don't have much going on up here. I prefer to just have it a lot thinner and like lighter, I guess you could say. And then it has the racer back in the back with the little logo, obviously from Bandier as well. I got it in a size small. And then the matching little biker shorts obviously come with it. Um, and it's actually a really pretty, almost like metallic detailing in a way. Um, it's a little bit of a shinier material, which I really like. It kind of dresses it up and makes it a little bit different. I also like to get black biker shorts because I feel like I could totally mix match this now with like the rest of my wardrobe or even the other pieces that I got. Um, or even dress it up with like a fun denim jacket and a white t-shirt and then wear it for like a daily outfit as well Or like a daytime outfit. So I just like the versatility I guess of like a black little set like this Um, because I feel like you can totally dress it up and dress it down because you guys know I'm all about like athleisure Luxury athleisure vibe um, with like a hint of fashion always so I feel like if you added some jewelry a denim jacket and some cute little dad sandals like you'd be good to go for like some cocktails with your girlfriends um so yeah, that's the vibe. So yeah, that is my little mini unboxing for today's vlog. Um, I'm obsessed with all of these pieces. Of course, I'll have them all linked down below for you guys to shop if you guys are interested with sizing and everything. So yeah, that is my little unboxing portion for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. Thank you again to Bandier for sponsoring this portion of today's video. You guys know I'm obsessed with them. I'm so excited to be partnering up with them and I can't wait to style my new pieces. Okay, so I'm just about to head out now um, And I decided to keep on the outfit that I had before but I thought I'd give you guys the details on the outfit So I'm wearing this super cute little choker um, It's by an Instagram brand. I'll have them linked down below and then my top is by we wore what um, or shop We wore what and then my jeans are actually from free people and they are just like a Levi's style I don't know the exact style, but I'll have them in the description and then for my shoes I'm just wearing these super cute new little flip-flops that I got they're like so 90s I don't know if you can tell they're like so 90s so cute and they're like this like pleather platform shoe um, and I'm obsessed so it's a very 90s outfit I feel like I had this choker when I was like 12 and I feel like I also had this top when I was 12. And I feel like I also had these shoes when I was 12. So, so yeah, I'm very 90s today, but I'm kind of into it. So, this is the look. As you guys saw, um, we went blueberry picking and we also did some antique shopping. We went for lunch. Um, it was just like a really fun afternoon and we just really enjoyed the weather, you guys. It's like so hot out. I don't know if it's like loud on here because I have the fan going and I have the door open because it is ridiculously hot out. But I promised you guys on Instagram stories that I would give you guys a haul um, of what I got from the antique store. So I just like unbox it and everything so I can show you guys. But first, I have to show you guys like how many blueberries I got. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, it's like a huge bin full. Um, and I'm gonna maybe try to like bake a blueberry pie or I'll like give it to my mom 
for her to bake a blueberry pie because I really don't know if I can make one of those. Okay, so antique haul. I scored you guys some gems, if I do say so myself. I guess I'll show one of the more exciting items I got. Um, I got my first ever set of fine china. Like it's like the real deal. And it has these pink roses on it and then the inside is a baby pink, which you guys know, Emma Rose. It's just on brand, okay? So yeah, I just think it's like the most darling little set and I love it. Okay, next up I got two candle holders and they're these like glass, beautiful little candle hold candlestick holders, I guess you could say. Um, and you guys know these are like so on trend right now, so the vibe. They were 35 for both of them, so quite affordable. Okay, next thing I got is this little vase and I'm obsessed with thin vases. I just got one from Ikea. I think I showed you guys in one of the last vlogs. I hauled an Ikea one, um, but I got this one. It was eight bucks, so super affordable, super cute, antique vibes. Um, and it's just like the most adorable little vase. Okay, and then last but not least, I got the most beautiful flower vase, you guys, which I guess it doesn't necessarily need to be a flower vase. It could be just decoration or like decor in general, but it is the most PFG vase you ever did see it's kind of coming off as like a peach color on screen but in person it's like a blush pink it's so pretty i love the shape of it it's so mod and vintage and it's just literally so pretty i'm obsessed with it i got it for 50 bucks which again is a little bit on the steeper price point like if you guys want a vintage shop on more of like a smaller price point, literally go to Value Village and like actual vintage stores. But these are like true antiques, so it's a little bit more of a steeper price point. But I'm obsessed with it. I think it is so freaking pretty. And I can't wait to put little like white flowers in it, put it on my coffee table, and just obsessed. So this is a little overview of everything that I got. The vase, the little teacup set, which I think is so pretty the candlestick holders, and then the little vase. I think it's just, I think they're just like the cutest gems that I found, and I'm definitely gonna be going back to this antique place because it had such good stuff, and I'm obsessed with my pickups today. So, that's what I got. So, now I'm going to wash them because obviously they're antique, so I'm gonna give them like a very, very intense wash. Um, and then I think I'm gonna head back down to the grocery store and get some fresh flowers so I can put them in my new vase because I'm just so excited to style them on the coffee table. So I think I'll probably do that after, but first things first, I'm gonna tidy these and get them cleaned. clearly golden hour now and I just spent the last 30 minutes rearranging all the flowers and kind of figuring out what I want oh why is the lens okay um, so yeah I was just like rearranging the flowers I put them in their vases obviously and then I put the two candlesticks over the books and then Nitz gave me the idea I was facetiming her and she told me to put like a cute little vase up here because I asked her like what do I put up there I don't know and then she said that that one looked really cute so shout out to Nitz she gave me the idea um, and yeah I think it looks so cute so PFG and it just feels so good to have fresh flowers so now I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the stunning queen sunset Good morning you guys. So it is the next day, obviously, and I wanted to show you like a little updated situation with all the decor because last night I was up until like 2 a.m. and I just like cleaned the apartment and it just like, you know when you get in those like cleaning moods, you just like clean everything. That's what I did last night. That was kind of like my evening. So I thought I'd just give you like a little overview of what I kind of switched up here um, in the living room. I know I showed you a little bit yesterday, but 
I want to show you in the natural light. Okay, so this was kind of the end result for the coffee table. I kind of redecorated the entire thing. Um, I added the vase from Ikea and then the little candle from Ikea. You guys know they're like life hacks. I talk about them all the time on the vlogs. And then I added my little vintage vase that I got yesterday at the antique shop. I added my candlesticks, which again, I got at the antique shop as well. I think they're so pretty. And then I just have like two little coffee table books. And then here on the windowsill, I have my little candlestick. Um, I got that from Zara Home. And then I got that also from the antique shop. And I just added a few little roses. Um, so yeah, I kind of just swapped it around and then if you go into the bedroom, hold on And then I added a few things here on the windowsill in the bedroom because you guys know I just felt like this corner was like so empty I talked about it on Instagram stories not too long ago Um, but I haven't found anything that I loved yet to add here But I thought in the meantime I would put all of my extra coffee table books there And then I put some pink tulips there in the mason jar Put two little candles and just kind of added something to the corner and just kind of brought color to it I just felt like it was kind of empty. So that is that corner. And then for the nook, here I'll turn on the light. For the nook, it's still a little basic, but I just kind of cleared it out because it was getting kind of cluttered. But I just added my little mushroom lamp, which I got a while ago at Wayfair. And then I added my Zara home candlestick. Um, I got this from Home Collective, I think it's called. It's a girl on Instagram. She makes these candles. I got this from, I think, Anthropology. And then I got this little vanity from Anthropology as well. And then I got my um, Chanel book, which I got off Amazon. And then also my Walt Disney book, which I got off of Etsy. So I just kind of added that to the nook. I still am like not really sure what to do in the nook here, but this works for now. I think it's cute. And yeah, like I said, it works. So that's the update there. So that is the update on the decor side of things. And just kind of little knickknacks that I wanted to kind of switch around in the apartment just to kind of keep things light and colorful and new, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, for the rest of the day, I'm just hanging out with some friends because the weather is so beautiful. We might go to the beach or to a pool um, and just kind of enjoy because today is like the hottest day of the week. So I want to spend it outside. And another exciting thing, you guys, I think I'm getting a car this week um, because I haven't had a car in years. I used to have a Jeep. I don't know if you guys remember that if you followed me back in the day, but I used to have a white Jeep and I loved my Jeep, um, but I sold it because I was traveling so much and I was living out of a suitcase. But now that I'm home permanently in an apartment, I need a car and obviously you guys know Steven has a car as well, but I thought it was good for me to have my own car too, um, just because I wanna have my own car. So this week I think I'm gonna go and check out some dealerships and go like test drive some cars and see which is the best fit for me. Um, I'm not sure if I'm doing that today or tomorrow or sometime this week, um, but I'll keep you guys updated. But I thought that was a little fun, a little announcement that I'm thinking of getting a car and I think I'm doing it this week. But I'll keep you guys updated on that and I will definitely be sure to take you guys along. Ask for your opinions before I do anything drastic. So anyways, that's kind of the plan. I guess I will show you guys my little outfit of the day today. I think it is the cutest dress. You guys, I just got it. I'm obsessed, I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so I'm wearing this cute little mini dress from Frankie's and I haven't been obsessed with a dress like this in so long. It is such a me dress. It's obviously PFG, super 90s. It has some slits on the side and it's just kind of like a tube dress and it's in like that terry cloth material that I'm obsessed with. And I'm just wearing a little tote bag because like I said, I think we're gonna go to the beach or to a pool today. So I just have a bikini packed and like my wallet and stuff and that. And then I'm just wearing flip flops because it is honestly just a beautiful hot summer day. So I feel like flip flops are just necessary today. But anyways, that's my little outfit and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I'm back at home now and Suze is here. Hi. Say hi and Olivia, my little sister if you guys haven't met her yet. Um, and we're making dinner tonight at home and Suze came over with some Stunning Queen salmon. And mom, what are we making? We're having salmon skewers, some uh, jasmine rice, some fresh corn, uh, and a beautiful salad. And a beautiful salad. So we're having dinner here. The sun is shining, Stunning Queen. And Sue's brought the goods. Yeah. And Olivia's just watching. Just 
just enjoying the stunning queen couch. the final results corn and we have a salad that we made with the olives tomatoes fresh lettuce and then we have a bed of rice with the stunning queen salmon stunning and we're eating on the coffee table tonight because why not good morning you guys so it is the next day obviously I'm literally still in my pajamas um, because I had to get up super early this morning to edit something to be submitted today um, by like 9 a.m. And I'm just actually about to get on a call with my manager, Emily. Um, we have weekly calls to just kind of chat about all of the collaborations that I have currently going on and like the timelines and the deadlines and kind of talk strategy and just kind of have those weekly touch bases so we're all on the same page. So that when she like negotiates and chats to the brands on my behalf, um, we're on the same page and everything so I have a weekly call with her this morning in like 10 minutes um, But I just thought I would kick off the vlog today because I had an early morning and we are just getting started I Haven't put on any clothes yet like any normal clothes yet because I haven't showered today So I was like there's not really any point of putting on clothes I might as well just stay in my pajamas because I'm working from home anyways um, But this morning I was gonna make myself some breakfast um because she's about to call me like any minute now. So I'll put you guys down. So yeah, our call is scheduled, like I said, for 9 a.m. So I'm just going to make myself breakfast um, and wait for her call. And just like that, you guys, a stunning queen breakfast. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Okay, so I just finished getting ready and I'm actually gonna head out for the day. I'm going to actually get my nails done, which is very exciting. So I'm actually gonna be going to a girl who specializes in nail art. And obviously nail art right now is just like all the rave for summertime. So I really wanted to get some cute like butterfly nails or some flowers or something along those lines. Something very like summery and cute, but still simple. Um, so I haven't figured out exactly what I wanna get yet, but I'll let you guys know and I'll show you guys obviously what I end up picking and then like I told you yesterday I'm actually gonna be looking and getting a car this week which I don't think I'm gonna be getting one today obviously because I need to kind of check out all of my options and test drive and see which one I really want I obviously have a few in mind that I really like but um, today is kind of like the first day of car shopping which is very exciting so I'm also gonna do that today and then I think I'm seeing Raina um, this afternoon. So yeah, this is my little outfit of the day. It is the little pink two-piece set from the Bandier haul I did on What day was it like a few days ago? It's on this vlog though So obviously you guys recognize this little set from the haul, but I'm obsessed with it So I'm wearing it today and then I'm just wearing this cute little tote bag and then my New Balance sneakers, so That's today's look and I'm running late. So I have to head out the door. Okay, so I just got out of my nail appointment and they're so cute. She did these like little baby flowers and then on the ring fingers or like on this finger, um, she put little butterflies and it's so freaking adorable, I'm obsessed. 
I have a video from like when she did it. But anyways, that was super cute. And now I have fresh nails, which is nice. Um, but I'm just now about to pick up Raina and then we're gonna hang out for a bit. Maybe go look at some cars. Um, and just kind of hang out for the rest of the day. Okay, so we're going car shopping. We're going car shopping. We just got to, deal to the dealership. And first thoughts, I guess we'll talk about what we want and then I guess it'll be fun to see like what we, we not end up I. getting. Yeah, it's a we not I situation, obviously. Um, but we know, I don't know if you guys know, but I had a Jeep when I was younger, like that was my first car. And then um, for the real fans, for the real, for the real ones who know, I had a white Jeep in high school and then I sold it and then I just haven't had a car since because I went traveling and stuff. So I really want a Jeep again because I'm just like going back to my roots and I feel like I'm just comfortable in Jeeps. Mm -hmm. So I'm eyeing a Jeep. However, I don't know anything about cars, neither does Raina. So we're going to kind of explore and see which car we think I would look cute in. We would look cute in. Wait, that's cute. A bug could be a bug? cute. She wants a convertible. I want some type of convertible in case we, you know, drive down to California every summer. We need like the vibes, you guys. So yeah, hair down, wind blowing. Yeah, exactly. Sun shining. Exactly. We need those vibes. We need the good vibes. So mm. I'm thinking a Jeep, but it'll be interesting as to what I end up getting. So I don't know. But we're here at the dealership and we see a white Jeep and that's kind of what I want. So we're going to go look at it and see what the vibe is. What the vibe is. But wish us luck. Okay, so it is the next day and the last we left off, I'm back with Raina, Hi. obviously, and the last we left off, we were car shopping and new day, new day different day, but we're going on a boat, we're going right on now. a boat today, but I have to give an update on the car situation. So we didn't obviously get one yesterday. I told you guys I wasn't going to get one right away, but I definitely found a few that I liked and we're just going to keep browsing. I think we're going to go tomorrow again. But yeah, update on that. We didn't get one, but we'll be probably getting one soon. But anyways, today is now Saturday, and we are headed on the boat today. We're going to go on the boat with some of our girlfriends. It is such a beautiful day out. Go on the water. Go on the if water. Swim. We're going to cannonball everything. Yeah. And just have a good day. So we're totally just weekending, you guys. And that's what the weekend's for. So mm -hmm. we're doing it. The weekenders. We're the weekenders this weekend. Yeah. And it feels like summer's actually here now. So it's very exciting. So see you on the boat. Bye.